if you can drag and drop you can create seamless patterns in Silhouette Studio. It's super simple and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette and you found your way to Silhouette Success. I do hope that you're going to join our little community. Quick shout out to Lorraine Strong. She is the official first Silhouette sidekick to join our community. If you'd like to become a member too, just hit the join button down below. It's the easiest way to support this channel and the instructional content that comes out on it. I almost forgot to mention, once you create these patterns, these digital papers, you can get them into your Silhouette library and they will be easily accessible in the color fill panel, in the fill tab, so that they are super easy to use in the future. Now, if everyone is ready to learn something new, let's do this. We are going to start off with a checkerboard pattern today. Let's go to our drawing tools, grab a rectangle, hold down our shift key and draw that out. I want it to be exactly one inch square. Now I can set this right up in the corner and I want a total of six of these, so let's duplicate five times. I can take the end one and set it right over here between the 10 and the 11 on the ruler up at the top. Now I can select all of these, go up to my align tool and space horizontally. Let's right click and group these together and duplicate. We can set this row right down here in between the first row. Select both of those, right click and group and duplicate. Now we have four rows. Let's group that together. Duplicate and duplicate. And now we have a whole 12 square inch area filled with our checkerboard pattern. We can right click and group that together. Let's set the line color to match the project. Grab your eyedropper and click on one of the blue squares. And now the black lines are gone. We can go up to File and Save As. And we can save this to our hard drive. I'll save it as checkerboard. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG file. Click OK. This dialog box will pop up and you want to change your DPI to 300 so that you end up with a nice crisp image when you bring it back in. Then go ahead and click Save. Let's pull this one off to the side, go up to File, down to Merge, and bring in our new checkerboard file. You can see that the empty squares here have been filled in with white. And now when you double click on this JPEG image, you can grab this corner editing point and drag it out. And you can see that you have in fact created a repeating pattern. And it just goes on and on. Now let's open up a new designing page. This one is actually even easier than that. All we need to do is drag and drop. So let's go down to our taskbar down at the bottom and open up our file explorer. We're going to go to this box here and hover. And I am going to click this one so that my downloads will open up on the left and my Silhouette Studio will stay open on the right. I'm going to head to my downloads and open this file. I did get this from Creative Fabrica. I thought it was just adorable and I'll link it in the description below. Now to get all of these babies onto your design mat, you simply want to click on it and drag it over. Let's move him out of the way and carry on. If you drag something onto your mat like this and it kind of freezes up, I can't click on it, I can't move him around, he's just stuck there, you want to go back to the original file, click on it and pull it directly onto the file that was stuck and he'll be good to go. My computer did an update this morning and everything just feels a little bit wonky with it. I don't think that's a good thing, but we are going to carry on and finish this project. Okay. Once all of my images are in Design Studio, I'm going to go back up to this square here and just click on it to maximize my screen. Let's select all of our new images and scale them down a bit so that they are easier to work with. 
and we can just start setting our animals down in a pattern and when you are creating a digital pattern or a seamless background whatever you want to call it you want to have one row off to the right and one row off to the left so that it's kind of staggered and these two are very similar I think I'm gonna pull this one off to the side for now we may have gotten these a little bit big let's see what we can do here I think that looks okay I am going to delete this guy and this is cute as is but I want to add a colored background so let's go back to our drawing tools, grab a rectangle, hold down our shift key and pull that out. I want this to be a light baby blue color and I'm going to switch the line color to match. Right click and send that to the back. Now we are going to go up to file and down to save as, save to hard drive. Let's do cute baby animals save this as a jpeg file click ok switch your dpi over to 300 enter and click on save now let's go on to learning how to get this into our silhouette studio library so that we can use it from the color fill panel we're going to go down to our task manager at the bottom and click on our file explorer and set this to half the screen again. We're going to open up the downloads and here is the file we just created. Over in Silhouette Studio side, we want to go over to the library and we want to open up the patterns folder. Now we can simply click on this and drag it right over and you can see I brought it in here. So let's maximize Silhouette Studio again go back to our design page, pull this off to the side. We can create a shape, go to our color fill panel. The third tab is fill pattern, and we can scroll until we find the pattern that we just created. It is right here, we can click on that. We can click on pan pattern, and it will pull this little dot up here, and we can pull our pattern around. We can scale the pattern down and we can change the angle on it. It works just like any other pattern that you buy from the Silhouette Design Store or Creative Fabrica or wherever you choose to get your patterns. So you can make whatever type of background you want for your designs. It's super simple and the results are amazing.